On Hanukkah, fire, which is the symbol of burning and destruction, is transmuted into something warm and giving. We are not simply celebrating our survival, but our purpose. And Jewish purpose is to give. We started this uh, unbelievable organization called Beit Juhuro. We have a weekly class in Russian. We have a weekly class in English for young people. We have a leadership fellowship to train next generation of leaders that they're gonna go out there and impact the community. Graduating with a degree of psychology, I found work in early intervention where I was able to help children with special needs. At a young age, I earned a tremendous amount of responsibility as an infantry soldier in the Givati Brigade. I learned to plan ahead, to be able to see the tasks that lay ahead of me, and to see and appreciate what I and my peers are capable of. I'm part of a large group of YU students that goes into local public schools to bring hands-on STEM programming into elementary classrooms. But what distinguishes us is not just the value of Yeshiva University, it is the values of Yeshiva University. As president of the Yeshiva University Medical Ethics Society, I am planning our annual conference on the topic of patient autonomy and decision-making related to Alzheimer's and palliative care. At Yeshiva University, we are educating our next generation's leaders who enlighten rather than inflame. And in this world, which can often feel like a winter's night, the world of tomorrow needs their light for warmth and illumination. These are our students and this is Yeshiva University. And YU is uniquely positioned to lead at this inflection point by renewing its commitment to be forward thinking, as you put it, I'm quoting you, and deeply rooted in Jewish values, embracing and preparing for the changed and changing world we are in while bringing to bear the brilliance and wisdom of our traditions. I am pleased to announce that the Israeli Foundation is donating $18 million to Yeshiva University.